Okay, so even odd, x-axis symmetry, y-axis symmetry, origin symmetry, what do all these terms mean and how can we tell if a function has a particular type of symmetry or whether it's even or odd? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. The first thing I wanna show you though is that, say you take like a sample point like x comma y. If you reflect this over the y-axis, what happens? Well, you know, it's the mirror image, but you can see that now the x value is the opposite, right? But the y value stays the same. So when we're testing to see if uh, an equation is symmetric about the y-axis, all we do is we go to the equation, we um, put negative x, okay, in for x, and we keep y the same, and if we get the original equation back when we simplify, that tells us that it has y-axis symmetry. Now, if we're reflecting over the x-axis, notice how the x-coordinate stays the same, but the y-coordinate changes signs, right? So that is how we test for x-axis symmetry. We would keep the x the same, but we would replace y with negative y. When we simplify that equation, if we get the original equation back, that tells us it's symmetric about the x-axis. And then if you were to rotate 180 degrees about the origin, okay, you would end up here, negative x, negative y. And that's what we do. We replace x with negative x, y with negative y in the original equation. When we simplify, if we get the original equation back, that tells us that it has origin symmetry. Now, switching gears a little bit here, talking about even and odd, what you do is you put negative x in place of x, so this is just a different notation. If you get the original function back, then that tells you that the function has, uh, that it's even. And what even means is that it's, it's symmetric about the y-axis. Okay, it's just another way of saying y-axis symmetry, we call it even. If we put negative x into our function and we get the original function back, but it's multiplied by negative one, see it's the opposite of f of x, then that tells us that the function is odd, and what it means is that it's a rotation 180 degrees about the origin, okay? So let's do an example. We're gonna go through three examples and I'll show you how this works. So first of all, let's do the even odd. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put negative x, okay, in for x. So wherever I see x, I'm gonna replace it with negative x. Whenever I do a substitution, I like to put it in parentheses because you wanna treat it like a group. So a negative, times a negative, times a negative, times a negative, four times, right? A negative to an even power is going to be a positive. Same thing here, a negative times a negative, that's gonna be a positive x squared, then times this negative, minus three. Now notice, this equation is the same as this equation. So what does that tell us? It tells us that it is an even function, meaning if we were to graph this, it would be a reflection over the y-axis. So that's it, it either has to be even or odd, it can't be both. When you talk about the symmetry though, it could have x-axis symmetry, y-axis symmetry, origin symmetry, but let's do the symmetry test to the same uh, function here. Instead of f of x, f of x represents y, so I'm just gonna rewrite this as y equals x to the fourth minus x squared minus three. Here what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go through the three symmetry tests. So I'm gonna replace x with x, and I'm gonna replace y with negative y. So if I do that, and I could multiply through now by a negative one, so that's gonna be y equals negative x to the fourth plus x squared plus three. Does this look like the original equation? No, so that means it doesn't uh, have symmetry about the x-axis. Let's go to the number two here. So we're gonna start back with our original equation. We're gonna replace x with negative x, y with positive y. So if we do that, And remember, negative to an even power is positive. Negative to an even power is positive. And you can see here we're getting back the you know, original equation. So that tells us that it does have y-axis symmetry. Now, we already knew that because of the even-odd test. We found out it was even, which means uh, the same as y-axis symmetry. Uh, but I'm just showing you the, the different tests. And then the third one, we would replace uh, y and x with uh, negative y and negative x. So I'm replacing y with negative y, replacing x with negative x, and we're gonna see if it gives us back the original equation. Now, after doing this a few times, you're gonna be able to just look at these equations and you're gonna be able to tell which type of symmetry it has. Uh, but in this case, uh, if I multiply through by negative one, that's gonna make this positive y, negative x to the fourth, positive x squared, positive three. Does it look the same as the original equation here? No, so that means it's not uh, symmetric about the origin. It was just the uh, y-axis symmetry or when we talked about even odd, we talked about it as being even. Two, we have f of x equals x over x squared plus two. So let's go to the even odd test. Now remember, it has to be either even or odd, it can't be both. Whereas with the symmetry test, it could be 
one of them, two of them, all three of them. Okay, you just have to check. So for the even odd, we're going to replace wherever we see x, we're going to replace that with a negative x. So I've got negative x over negative x squared plus 2. So when we simplify, we've got negative x, negative x times negative x is positive x squared plus 2. And when we look at this, see if I factor out a negative 1, what do I get? I get x over x squared plus 2. So this represents our original equation, right? You can see they match, but it's multiplied by negative 1. So what does that tell us? It tells us that it's odd. See, it's the opposite of f of x, or f of x times negative 1, which means that if it's odd, it's a rotation about the origin, okay, 180 degrees. So just remember, odd and origin go together, okay, and even and y-axis symmetry, those go together, and x-axis doesn't have like a, it doesn't match up with any of those. So let's, now let's kind of switch gears and go back to the symmetry test. So we're working with this equation here, we're going to go ahead and put um, x and negative y in. So what we're going to do, f of x, you can think of that as like y. So we have y equals x over x squared plus 2, and we're going to replace x with x, y with negative y. So we have negative y equals x over x squared plus 2. If we multiply both sides by negative 1, that's going to give us negative x over x squared plus 2. Does it look like the original equation? No. So that means it doesn't have x-axis symmetry. Um, so let's go ahead for y-axis symmetry now. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace x with negative x, y with positive y. So if we do that, we get negative x over negative x squared plus 2. And if we simplify, that gives us negative x over x squared plus 2. Does that match the original equation? No. So that tells us it's not y-axis symmetry. And then the last one, we're going to make them both negative. Okay, so if we do that, we have uh, y negative y equals negative x over negative x squared plus 2. Uh, we simplify, we get negative x. This is x squared plus 2. And if we multiply both sides by negative 1, these both become positive. Now you see it matches the original equation, so that tells us that this, this is origin symmetry. So it's a rotation about the origin 180 degrees. Of course, we already knew that when we did the uh, even and odd test. It came out odd, which is origin symmetry. So now remember, they can be more than one, but let's look at one more example of x equals x times the square root of x squared plus 1. So let's start with the even odd test. So first thing we do is we substitute in negative x, right? So where we see x, we're replacing it with negative x. And over here we have negative x squared plus 1. So a negative to an even power we know is positive, okay, because a negative times a negative. And here we have negative x. Now when we look at this, you can see that here's our original equation, right, original function, but it's multiplied by negative 1. So what does that tell us? It's this bottom one here. It's odd. It's a rotation 180 degrees about the origin. And, of course, once we know that it's odd, we also know that it has uh, uh, origin symmetry. Um, but I'll show you those tests as well. So let's go back to um, the symmetry test. So let's start with x-axis symmetry. So f of x we can think of as like y. So we have y equals x squared of x squared plus 1. But what we're going to do is we're going to replace x with x, y with negative y. Okay, so if we do that, we can multiply both sides by negative 1. So this would give us y equals negative x times the square root of x squared plus 1. Notice this whole thing is like one group. It's all multiplied together. Um, but see how it's multiplied by negative 1 because we multiply the left and right sides. Does this look like the original equation? No, so that means it doesn't have x-axis symmetry. Okay, let's go to number 2. So here what we're going to do is we're going to place x with negative x and y with positive y. So we have y equals, uh, let's see, negative x square root of negative x squared plus 1. So if we simplify, this gives us x squared plus 1. But again, does this look like the original equation? No, because that negative in front, so it doesn't have a y-axis symmetry. And then the last one, we're going to replace x with negative x, y with negative y. And if we do that, Let's see what we get. Uh, let's see. So here, negative x uh, squared gives us x squared plus 1 times negative x equals negative y. <clears throat> Excuse me. If we multiply both sides by negative 1, those negatives are going to cancel. And you can see this matches our original equation, which tells us that it has origin symmetry. But of course, we knew that uh, because when we did the even odd test, it's odd. Normally, when you do these problems, your teacher will either be talking about symmetry or about even odd. Sometimes, we'll be doing them together. 
So that's how you work with these. If you're new to the channel, uh, I encourage you to subscribe. This channel is all about helping you to raise your grade, pass your class, and go on to pursue your dreams and hopefully make learning math a lot less stressful. I look forward to seeing the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.